Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's be real right off the bat. How else did you expect the Hisoka versus Gato fight to end up? Hisoka was obviously going to be the one to live past this ordeal, but it does suck to see Gato go because besides Canary, he is my second favorite butler, and he really does have the well-being of Killua in mind like at all times. Like, that's really all he lived for. And he's just an awesome character. I really enjoyed his abilities. But Hisoka just fucking owned him. At first, I thought Hisoka was in trouble with the uh, coins twisting his arms around that much. But just the fact that Hisoka is always prepared for everything, literally everything, makes me want to see the Illumi versus Hisoka fight even more. And also, I want to see Hisoka fight Krolo. I've been waiting for that for a long time. But, I mean, this guy had a choice to either be torn apart by his own aura or get impaled and just demolished by those coins. Like I said, just the fact that he prepared for that is amazing. Hisoka is a fucking genius. And it sucks that Gato got defeated by a man in high heels. I mean, that has to be the most embarrassing death ever. That slice to that neck, though. Man, Hisoka is a sneaky motherfucker. And did he really have to kiss the bloody card, man? This guy is such... A damn sicko and he just hung there like spider-man for a few seconds i thought that was kind of funny but like i said man it sucks to see gato go because he honestly wasn't a bad guy i really enjoyed seeing Killua just take off in front of subone and he looked like sonic the fucking hedgehog for a second but subone's ability to turn to a motorcycle was it's awesome but strange at the same time when you think about it how uh, Amani and Canary was sitting on her. Canary is on top of that old lady's ass. So actually, Canary is riding Subone's butt right now. That's awesome. But that says a lot that that nin ability is faster than Killua's Godspeed. Did you see how fast it caught up to Killua and it left a fire trail and everything? I was like, damn. And Illumi is just a heartless bastard. The needles that he put in those innocent civilians' heads. There was one, I think it was a mother and a daughter, or a father and a daughter, something like that. He put a needle in the daughter's head, and the father is just running around with the daughter in his arms. I'm like, why would you even put a needle in her head if she's not going to get down and run herself? That's just a waste of an innocent life. That dude is an asshole. I'm not going to lie, as fucked up as this is, I did bust out laughing when they took off running. But if Illumi is going to step in, he's going to have to do it now before he gets around the hospital because there is a rally of hunters waiting to take down a needleman and stop Illumi if necessary because everyone wants Gone to heal because Gone is fucking awesome. So what do you guys think is going to happen in the next episode? This arc is only going to go uphill, believe me. And Godspeed is an awesome technique. Do you know that you could just zoom by a chick and just grab her ass and titties and they will be none the wiser of what the hell just happened. But anyway, tell me what you guys thought about this awesome episode. What did you think about the outcome of Hisoka versus Gato? What do you think about Canary riding upon Subone's huge ass? This has been JB Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.